A little over a year ago, the country was shaken as we heard the news that a shooter had opened fire during a holiday office party in San Bernardino. Now, after the one-year anniversary of this violent terror attack, victims are speaking out to reveal their healing is far from over. I worked for the County of San Bernardino. I was in charge of the Division of Environmental Health Services. I was an environmental health specialist. We were gearing up for the holidays, and, and this was our end of the year general education meeting. It was a good day. I had actually received a program manager's award that morning. At about 10.50, that's when everything changed. The door opened, an individual dressed in black in a ski mask with an assault rifle started spraying the room. The first bullet shattered my pelvis. I remember the shock on people's faces. The second bullet went through my rectum. I remember feeling the concrete vibrate from the rounds. I felt blood and urine spill out. I thought this might be it. I remember just a rainbow of empty shell casings. I was with two of my friends and they both were killed. I was not shot. That day, I left with an invisible wound. I had a pelvic external fixator, which are bars basically screwed into me for three months. One bone has grown into my bladder, muscle loss in my leg. I had a colostomy from damage to my intestines. Pain that I feel is scar tissue, is bullet fragments. Over the year, I've had four surgeries. I've been formally diagnosed with PTSD. The shame of getting out while others stayed in there and endured more. It's a roller coaster of depression and anxiety and paranoia. When all of this happened, I had 100% complete confidence that everything would be taken care of by workers' comp. I think we all assumed we pay a lot of money for health insurance and we'll be taken care of. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. All of us are fighting this battle of these ridiculous classifications of injuries. You're fighting for a surgery, you're fighting for antibiotics, you're fighting for painkillers, you're fighting for your physical therapy. It never ends. The workman comp system needs to be reformed. The only thing that we did wrong that day is we showed up to work.